Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil and TireRack.com. A lot of you probably recognize this 1964 Aston Martin DB5. It's been in the most Bond films, five of them, and it's in the latest movie, No Time to Die. It's in that opening scene with Daniel Craig. This is the first time the DB5 and 29 other modes of transportation featured in the 007 films have been together in one exhibit in the United States. It's a full chronology of Bond. Does this one look familiar? It's what's left of the Aston Martin DBS from Casino Royale. In the scene where he's going down the road at night uh, and Vesper is on the road and uh, he quickly swerves out of the way, the car rolls seven times. It was never intended to roll that many times and they unintentionally broke a Guinness Book of World Record uh, in that stunt. Honestly, for rolling that many times, the car is in great condition. The film On Her Majesty's Secret Service is showing right here. The 1969 Mercury Cougar used in that film is right here in the exhibit. In the film, James Bond's wife drove this vehicle most of the time. She showed off her driving skills, ending up in the middle of a stock car race on a frozen track. I think it was a completely new atmosphere for Bond. And so it kind of just helped develop that that car was much more capable. Uh, the XR7 Cougar was just a cool car, seven liter engine, extremely powerful American car featured in, you know, British film. Some say a car is nothing without the story behind it. And the 007 film certainly helped develop that story. This is the, the 1977 uh, Lotus Esprit Series 1 uh, from The Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, this was driven by Roger Moore. Uh, and it's, it's a Bond vehicle that was land and sea. So there's a really famous scene where this car is being chased in uh, Sardinia and it goes from basically a mountain road into the ocean and turns into a submarine. This Aston Martin Vanquish was used in Die Another Day. As you may remember, it has tiny cameras all over it that makes it nearly invisible. It also has weapons and tracking devices that are very crucial during that very scary chase scene across ice. James Bond's characters are really developed by the technology and the gadgets that he uses, uh, and the cars are typically a large part of that. You know, they're, they're not just a car, they're a tool of his to, you know, fight the bad guys. A cool concept that has connected and captivated every generation for 60 years. Anything that really surprised you about this exhibit? I expected to see the vehicles. I didn't expect to see the curation. I love the videos. I love the photography. There are some phenomenal shots here. Seeing a lot of the aircraft and seeing some of the submarines and stuff, you know, it really brought home a little bit of Hollywood. Surrounded by all these incredible 007 cars for most of the day, I had the urge to get in the driver's seat and take them out for a spin. Uh, since that's not in the cards for me, Binge watching all the Bond movies may just satisfy my need for speed for now.